Hello my friends and welcome back to Choo Choo Survivor where we are going to be playing through with our classic steam locomotive in Tunnel of the Dead. We're going to do the normal mode and I guess we're starting. What we're going to try to do is get the uh, 35 minute achievement. So we start out with the uh, Tommy gun on this guy, and then we go into where else we can go would be with like everything else. We'll probably do the mini gun and then the shotgun as well. Come on, homie. Thank you. Get through collecting everything we can. We're going to want about as many survivors as we can as well. Now we got that. We'll do this guy. You're going to fire at random as well. We're going to save up for another one of you. You're going to fire at the closest. Go back to make sure we pick everything up. Since we're not really looking at breaking the 10 minute mark, we've done that. We're looking at that 35 minute achievement. And then, this is where we kind of get the choice. Our last weapon, do we want another Tommy gun or another shotgun? We're going to go with the Tommy gun they can get a little little overpowered now let's save up for the drone and we'll be able to uh, upgrade all of our guns up you find gold take it might as well Worst case, we get stuck waiting for a little bit. Like, not the end of the world. Come on. Thank you. Let's do this. We had that guy. Grab this one too. Let's do this. And each guy that we pick up is a little bit of a boost to damage, so it helps out grabbing as many of them as we can. And we want as much of that gold as we can as well. Come on. We're at the 10 shots a second, so it's firing off quickly as it can. It's going to pierce through as many as it can. And we'll upgrade the stun on him. We're getting those airstrikes a lot today. I'm not saying I'm disappointed in that, but that is abnormal. Um, you get Fortress. Double upgrade points collected plus 25% zombie health. Ooh, sure. I don't think we'd gotten that one yet. We did not. So we got the achievement Fortress for that. Those relic ones are just kind of random. You'll get what you get when you get them. So I know I've got quite a few of them. Should probably look through, see which ones that I absolutely need to take because some of them can make or break your run. Four hundred and thirty-seven damage. Woo. We 
get the critical strike, the experience magnet. Everything will just come to us. I still have four upgrade points. Might as well put them in that. Now we're working on our shotgun, which doesn't have quite as much to upgrade because we don't have all of the points for him. It would almost be beneficial to just stand still for a long time, get the level to go up. But I've got a little uh, method I did last time that I think worked out for us. We'll be finding that out here in about 50% for what I end up doing. Go ahead and grab that guy. 3 and 210. Fantastic. Kill. Thank you. Oh, I still have 9. 2. Let's go. Go through all these guys. Collect everything we can. At the speed we're going, you would think we're running for a uh, 10 minute run, but we're not. I promise we're not doing a 10 minute run. We're doing a 35 minute run. Snagging that experience magnet makes it to where we don't have to worry quite so much about anything. And as long as our uh, carriers did their job, we should be fine. really check to see closest, closest, random, random, closest. Let's let you to random. It's like we do a lot of damage. We do a lot of damage rapidly. Because they're 419 at 10 per second is massive. Plus one bonus to damage. Woohoo! Little bits here and there help out. Then we should be, what, 400... Nope, this says 141 now. Huh. I guess I don't understand what it was doing. That's okay. We don't have to understand everything. Alright, all of our weapons are fully upgraded. Yep, all of our weapons are fully upgraded. So now... We will turn off, open that when leveling up. At this point, we're just going to be collecting as many of those points as we can. We're going to be burning through probably 50 or 60 of them at the bunker. And then another 50 or 60 during that final boss wave. Find a mute survivor, they'll sell you relics for gold. Mechanic. Triple regeneration. Minus 10% on that, but you want 5,000. Sure. We'll regenerate health quicker. 
We'll just do a little bit less damage. Maybe worth it. Maybe not. The crit. Yep, it was because we had the critical thing on there showing what the damage is. Okay. That's fair. Because of an upgrade, we had a boost in damage. Fortress. We're going to leave that. We already have Fortress. We don't need another one. We don't need to give them more health. Find upgrade pallets. Sure. We'll take the upgrade pallets. Go head first into those guys. Make sure we pick up everybody that needs to be picked up. At the end of the day, they're just going to be helping us out. So, might as well. Stop and collect all that. And then here's where we're going to have our bunker. Which... Thirty-four to eleven. Ouch! It's gonna drain us of our upgrade points. And well, what my plan is is to just go towards the end and then back our train up back to the bunker, so that way we know we have everything on the map. It takes it a little bit more time. We're not having to worry too much about what's going on around us. We'll have a lot of the upgrade pallets to spend on healing ourselves during the boss fight. And we'll be a higher level. Bombardment. 10% every effect with no negative effects. Sure. I think we already had that one, but... That's fine. Let's also make sure that we have all of the people as well. Ninety two percent. Ooh. Well, that hurt. Let's grab that. And just sit here for a second. Not too concerned about what we're getting from those, because we're going to get whatever we get. Now uh, we'll make sure we get to the 99% mark that we can see the finish line before we basically just call it and say, hey, we need to go back. Once we get up towards the finish lines, when we're going to be able to see, hey, there's nothing else that we can collect. We've collected all of the pallets. We've collected all the gold. We basically got as high of a level as we possibly can. And that's when we can start the 35 minutes wave boss. All right. We are at the finish line, it looks like. Yep, there are no more collectibles, so time to start going back. From here's where we'll hit that experience magnet. Because that's just going to start pulling everything towards us. 
So at the bottom you can see each one they have a little number next to them so you hit that number key you'll pop that in so you got your oil in case you're running low on oil you got your health in case you need health the cost is right above it so four for oil six for health two for the experience magnet ten for bombardment six for critical strike and four for the pinball We're going to go right back to our bunker where we're going to be able to upgrade that bunker shotgun a little bit more. We might hang out down there for a little bit before we start that level 35 wave just to get closer. Yeah, press this and it's going to jump you to 31 minutes. You just got to survive for four minutes. Which, definitely easier said than done. But, hopefully with this you see a very easy way to get it. And if it's something you've been struggling with, you'll see how. I don't have the upgrade to automatically collect the experience. I'm just going to rotate my cursor around for a little bit. Just grab all the experience that I can. That's fine. This will be a minute, so if you already made it this far through the video, if you could, it would help out a lot if you could hit the sub button. Hitting that sub button guarantees 35 minute victory. Or, if you want to wait until afterwards, hit it after we win. I'll accept that too. It is free to sub and takes nothing to uh, cancel if you feel you've been bamboozled. Which, I don't think you would. We do a lot of the similar stuff in this channel. It's all pretty much roguelikes, strategy, things like that. We don't change much for what we do. Ooh, we killed a boss before he even got on the screen. What did we get from that, huh? 1 in 326. Cool. The gold bars are used for upgrades outside of when you're in the run. They're ones that can help you out. It's like upgrading your trains to different trains. You can get different effects on your weapons. So like the stun bullets or the explosive bullets are all unlocked through having those gold bars and spending them in the main menu shop. Collect all that. Thank you. We are at a hundred and forty four on our inventory of upgrade stuff. We are level ninety one, so at level ninety five we will uh, jump into it. Ninety three is like right there. Cool. Well, while you're here, is there anything that you've been struggling with to achieve in here that you want to see? I can probably get to a lot of it and get things rolling for it if it's just something we need to uh, check out reconvene on how to do and easy strategies to get it done I'm all for it
94. One more level and we're starting. Just one more level. Come on. So close. It's almost there. And it's there. All right. Survive till 35 minutes. That's the plan, man. We're going to use up some of our points right now. Just so that way we have that critical strike. And we're going to do the most damage we can. For as long as we can. Grab those upgrade points. Snag that again. Stay fully healed. Come on. And all you really gotta do is keep an eye on your health. Make sure you have a finger on the two key so that way you can just heal whenever you need it. You don't got to be as attentive as I am to where the second I get hurt, I'm spending points. But with 506 upgrade points, I can afford to just drop heal. And then I've also been putting in the points for our critical strikes. So that way we just do as much damage as we can. The other thing you can do you're feeling kind of stuck is drop an airdrop with four or that's going to take a lot of your upgrade points so if you don't have a ton i'd save them more for the health and do what you can between five and four and two should be about all you need and at this point i don't even have to worry about it I can go five, five, four, four, and just let it do its thing. And I'm not losing any of my upgrade points. We are just gaining them. We'll even throw that into the mix, start attracting all that. Just five and four. And we're chewing the, through these guys like they're nothing. We got one minute remaining. Just make sure that we are all up there. And you can see on the back of the train at the caboose, the little symbols when they start getting smaller just means that that time is running out on that upgrade. Which just tells me, hey, it's time to hit those buttons again. And I'm not using any oil because we're really not going anywhere, so there's not much of a need to do anything there. It's just a matter of five, four, three. And collect all of these boxes because they're all going to give you additional little upgrade points. Which is what you use to get through that and boom. No more zombies. Survive 35 minutes in Tunnel of Doom. Normal mode. That's normal mode. But 35 minutes on normal. We defeated multiple of the bosses that wanted us to defeat. So we got a few achievements there. We also got 84,501 gold. You received $20,000 due to Bunker Second Weapon Bug.
Okay, I'll have to look up to see what that bunker weapon second bug is. Um, however, let me grab that while I can. All of the trains while I can. And then... I might hold off on trying to get those and we'll just upgrade everything else all the way. Short of that one. So we've almost got everything unlocked. I've got three more upgrades left. However, those three upgrades are 12,000, 125,000, 225,000. So that's 350,000. 362,000 more gold is needed. Um, I am curious about what that second weapon bug is. So let's see if they have anything. On the page about it. Community hub. Uh, that was a bug fix for text options. I am not seeing anything. So. With that, that's about all I got for you today. That is Choo Choo Survivor. Tunnel of the Dead. 35 minute achievement. Made easy. There you go. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, yeah. Again. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Helps out a lot. Leave a like. Leave a comment. What's your favorite train? Tell me. I want to know. What is your favorite train? I've been enjoying the classic steam locomotive, but I also, as you've seen, just opened up all these others to explore and try. So, which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And Yeah. Hope you have a wonderful time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.